in honor of Feeding Tube Awareness Week, I will show y'all how I prepare a feed. trying to convince myself and my body to get out of bed. Last night I managed to fall asleep for a few hours, but then I woke back up and I just could not sleep, could not get comfortable. I was just in a lot of pain, most likely due to being in the car for so long yesterday. But I have to get up and start my day. Okay, I have gotten myself together, did my nebulizers, my morning medicines. Now I'm just taking a quick rest before I continue with the rest of my treatments today. Ta-da! I am all ready to hook up to my banana bag today. So much trash. Now I need to make my new feed bag. And in honor of Feeding Tube Awareness Week, I will show y'all how I prepare a feed. First I shake up the formula. Get the feed bag out. And what I always found interesting is with my infusions and port stuff, I have to follow sterile protocol very meticulously, but with feeds, when you eat, it's not sterile. So we keep it clean, but not sterile. It was something I had to get used to because I was so used to my port and the sterile protocol. And anyways, then as you see, this bag is suctioned to the opening. So if I pour the formula in here, it'll overflow. I have done that many times. I call it like a rookie move. So I blow into the bag just to open it. And then I pour the formula in. Then I try to get all the air out, as much air out as possible. Because if air ends up going into the tubing, the pump will alarm. Less air, the less likely that is to happen. So now I need to prime the tubing, which is where I suck all of the formula through so there's no air getting pumped into my intestines. And there's two ways to do this. One is you can use the pump, the pump and hold down the prime key and it'll do it for you. Or you can hand prime. And if I'm hand priming, I'll take off this cap, which it's kind of fun to use the pump when you prime with this because it like shoots off. But I would take off this cap and then there's a little teardrop symbol here. And I press that down and then I squeeze the bag and it goes through like that. But my hands are hurting me today, so I'm not going to do it that way. I'm gonna use the pump, so I open it. This little loop goes over this black circle here, and then it just stretches across. It stretches across. I swear it's easier than I make it look. It's just, my hands are giving me issues today. It just stretches across and snaps in. Close the door, turn on the pump, this is a noisy thing and there's a key on here that says prime and I just hold it down and you'll see it just sucks the formula through I prefer to hand prime when I'm able just because it's faster but when my hand joints are hurting I prefer to use the pump because it's less painful and keep your eye on the cap it'll shoot off like a rocket <laughs> there it goes <laughs> Almost done, there we go. Then I turn off the pump, 
Feeding tube backpack. I clip in the feeds to the top clip here. Pump goes in the bottom of the bag, and then I coil the excess tubing because I don't want it hanging out to risk getting caught on anything or getting yanked. So I just coil this up. I leave about that much. I clip in the excess tubing. I have a clip on the side here too. Then I feed this through the little hole in the side my seamstress put there. And then this connects to my J-tube and I hit run on the pump and I'm good to go. But first I wanna finish connecting to my infusion. And y'all may have realized I'm taping my tube this way now as my surgeon suggested to take pressure off of this side and I'll be rotating where it's taped. Alrighty, feeds running, fluids going. Harlow has been taken care of this morning. I'm gonna take a break and I have an appointment with my home physical therapist this morning, so we shall see how that goes. Okay, I had my PT appointment. I finished my banana bag and I'm taking a momentary break from my feeds because I started getting spasms in my, or like around my J-stone again and it was really bad for like 20 minutes and it's starting to settle down but I don't want to hook back up just yet. Anyways, the physical therapy appointment went great. He's awesome. It was an evaluation to see where I need some improvement. I need a lot of improvement. Um, he said that my AFOs are going to be a significant help in reducing my falls and we're gonna set up probably for like once a week for him to come for maybe like five or six weeks just to help with strengthening muscles and helping with my balance and things like that. Hi Lou. Hippo. Can you get the blanket? Get the blanket. Good girl. Come in. Yes, come here, Harlow. Ow. Uh, good girl. All right, I have rested up. I am back on my feeds and I'm ready to do something. So tomorrow I am seeing two of my doctors who have been very instrumental in improving my health and my quality of life. They were playing big parts in my J-tube surgery and I wanna do something to give them an extra thank you. So I'm gonna bake them some brownies and I was also supposed to see my surgeon tomorrow, but if y'all remember because of the J-tube stoma issue, I saw him yesterday. I was gonna bring him and his office staff some sweets as well, but I just didn't have time. So with my next follow-up with him, I'll probably bring him something. But for these two doctors tomorrow, I'm gonna bake some brownies. Okay, I think there's a problem here. I am not a professional, like, good baker. It's so funny, every time I try and bake something, something goes wrong and I'm like, Janice went to culinary school before she became more ill and baked stuff for like Disney. So <laughs> she always makes fun of me when I try to do this. But problem number one, I'm pretty sure it's not enough batter for this tree. <laughs> All right, I had another bag. I have two, so I just decided to make the second one. I'm gonna put it in there and hopefully that'll work. All right, that totally worked. I saved it. Plus I'm giving the brownies to two different doctor's offices, so totally fine to make both bags. Plus I'm pretty sure Judd will eat some of it. Oh, I'm not sure. I don't think I mentioned this, but Judd is in Jacksonville right now. He's on the way home now. He went there for an overnight trip to visit family. All right, tasty brownies. I think these turned out well. Usually when I bake stuff, I tend to like overcook or undercook it. I'll have Judd test try it when he gets home, but I think I did a good job. All right, what's the verdict on the brownies? It's pretty good. And pretty you're good. back. By the I forgot to tell him you even left. Yeah, I went to Jacksonville. <laughs> and he's back. Thing. Hippo, Hippo's <sighs> glad you're home. 
but Judd's actually like gone all this week. He's got to go to Orlando. So this evening and tomorrow are the only times he'll be here this week. <laughs> 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 so since Judd won't really be here much this week, ah, don't. We're going on a date. He walked in the door. I was like, he's like, how you doing? And I was like, I am hurting, but we're going out. <laughs> so uh, we're just going to go grab something quick to eat. Mm -hmm. Easy, but date night. And we are not going to take the camera. Just going to enjoy each other's company. <gasps> but we're taking Hippo. She's coming with us. Yeah. I'm going to be selfish and keep you all to myself. <laughs> Bed. We had a really good date night. It was Dead. fun. Now we're playing... Red Dead and in bed. bed. Red Dead Redemption is the video game, and they're coming out with a new one. Yes. So excited! I'm not good at video games, but I'm good at this one because it has quick game. And Jack used to call it Red Dead Horsey. Yeah, because the Red get, Dead like, Horsey game. You get horses. I remember that. Judd was mocking me today. He made a song. Babe, stop. It's less resistance. Because <laughs> I was telling him with my new 20 gauge needle, it's bigger, so there's less resistance than the 22 gauge. Y'all remember, I was like really excited about it. And he tried it. He pushed my hat print tonight and he was like, "This, there's no difference. I was like, babe, stop. There's less resistance. She said it in a catchy tune though. <laughs> you made it a catchy no, tune. She, you started singing she about said it. it. like in a tune like manner. She's like, babe, I, stop. It's less resistance. <laughs> shut <laughs> up. I started going around the house with him. Now it's stuck in my head. <laughs> Anyways, we are going to sleep. We've got brownies to take to doctor's appointments tomorrow. <laughs> what? It's you know, weird. you just enjoy tonight. This is like your only night at home this week. It's weird. What? It's not weird bringing them brownies. <laughs> it's strange. They're good doctors. They are. You know? They are. So they deserve brownies. Anyways, we are going to bed. So with that, we'll say goodnight. And thanks for joining us on our adventure. Back off. Back off. Oh, yeah. <laughs>